<sighs> I really wish I could sleep like a normal human being. But unfortunately, life has other plans. But it doesn't matter. Well, okay. I'm choosing to let it matter less because I have UFC 5. And all of you. So, let's get into it. We are going to fight number 3 ranked Arnold Allen. He's number 3 um, in this, in the game, in this career path. And uh, so in preparation, <laughs> I watched two of his fights. Um, I was going to watch the Max Holloway one because I missed. I don't remember it. it. It has a record of me watching it and it was at the end pretty much uh, is where I last left off and I know it was a good one and I just I didn't recall watching it at all but regardless apparently I did but anyway I say this to say that I decided those two were enough for me to figure out kinda how I wanna take care of him he's a very good striker very good striker. Um, I consider anyone who can uh, stand and fight with uh, Max Holloway uh, a very good striker. Pretty much. Um, that's just kind of. <laughs> Dude, I. That makes me feel for Max, honestly. Because I'm basically saying that <laughs> Max is the. Like decider in the featherweight division whether or not you're a good stand-up striker and yet he's not the champ and he's only really stopped by one man and that man's name is Volkanovski. Dude, I don't know what else that man has to do to be considered mainstream the GOAT of featherweight um, but in my eyes I think he is. Um, Max, Max definitely up there. Um, I don't like the argument of Connor. Connor had a really good run at featherweight, no doubt. He's one of those top tier. When he was in featherweight, he had a really good run. He had a lot of good guys, including Max. Um, but I have never defended the belt. That's a big, uh, it's a big no-no for me. Um, he went straight up to lightweight, which was the perfect plan, honestly. It was what should have been done. It was historic. Set in uh, motion this champ champ thing uh, phenomenon that we all love so much. But I feel like there's featherweight just has so many greats that while his career might be the most well-known and famous in the featherweight division, I don't feel he was... To go, um, Volk for me, Jose Aldo's another great one. Um, I mean, look at the featherweight division, okay, guys. So if you think about it, <laughs> how many lightweight legends, people that we regard at the pinnacle, top of the sport, started out at featherweight? Poirier is one. I know I'm biased there. Let me know. Um, Charles Oliveira was one, right? Um, oh, Frankie Edgar was one. That's a big one. Like, I know there's more. I just can't think of them all off the top of my head. But I mean, there's just so many that it it's insane to think that in all of that, we were left something we couldn't even fathom. Like, let me paint a picture for you guys, okay? So, MMA fans, we are... We are a weird group of people, in my opinion. Uh, I think we're some of... And, again, I understand I'm biased here, but I think we are some of the best. Um... word I'm looking for. Ah, uh, some of the 
best. Oh, come on. Why can't I think of it? That's so annoying. Um, some of the best, like, representers and supporters of those athletes. Like, let's take basketball, for example, right? Okay, you go to a basketball game. It's a team sport, right? Now, you may be there for one specific player, but it's a team sport. You're cheering on that team. But when you're cheering on a fighter, you're cheering on a fight her you have basically chosen mma fans to put sometimes your very livelihood on the line for them never understood that but anyway i just i love the mma fan community i think they're great people um but uh without it we need to get into the fight now oh goodness all right, so Alan's obviously gonna do what he does in real life, right? He's gonna come out fast, strong. He's gonna put on that forward pressure. So I need to take that away. That's my goal right now. I need to do that. I need to hit that leg, that lead leg. I need to take it away. So that forward pressure becomes a lot harder. Another tool is going to be the clinch. Just making him think about it. Another way to grind him down. Take that forward pressure away. Make it harder and harder. Ah. He also has a really good ground run. I mean, Alan. Give it maybe a year or two, I'm sure he'll at least fight for the belt within a year or two, at least. I mean, his only loss in the UFC, I believe, is to Holloway. I mean, that's pretty insane. Why is it not reading? I'm playing a game right now. Oh my word. I apologize guys, I'm really trying to get this clip 
make it easier for myself, but that was just so beautiful. Oh. I don't know why it doesn't think I'm playing a game. That's just rough. Hold on, maybe if I... Oh, is anything running in the background that's stopping me? Ladies and oh, gentlemen, whatever. referee Herb Dean is called. Man, that's so nuts. Can I just see it again? Alright, it's not gonna work. Oh. Just phenomenal. Honestly, f phenomenal. If I do say so myself. Just, I did not expect that to work that well. But we saw it, we took advantage of it. Where'd it go, us? Ooh, number one contender fight. Zabit. I'm not even. Magomed Shapirov. Hope I did that right. All right, well, I'm actually gonna stop the stream and then restart it. That way, it's easier to clip.